What's up YouTube, it's your boy The Truth Don't Live and welcome to the CWM Talk Show. Now today's topic is weight and the question is, is she fat or is she beautiful? Now my guest today is Whitney Williams. Hey Whitney. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Now the topic is weight and as young as you were, as you were young when you, when you first started having weight, am I right? Mm-hmm. Why did you suffer from weight at such a young age? Well, I think what brought it on, like what made it worse is when I had my son at an early age. I had my son when I was 18. So after I had him, that pregnancy brought on a lot of weight and that's still a young age. So I would say that's the main reason why I suffered at a young age with weight gain. Prior to you having your son, prior to you having your son, were you curvy? I was curvy. Um, I was I I was what some consider to be thick. That's what we call it. You know, um, our generation calls it. So yes, I was curvy. You know, no, I, I was busty as far as in the you know uh, breast area. So um, I was already you know a little heavier than most. son at a young age because obviously when you have a baby mm -hmm. obviously we all know ladies out there watching we all know when you have a baby it brings on weight right um why not protect yourself um good question um and i can just honestly answer it as far as saying at that point in time i wasn't really worried about you know getting pregnant you know, I was just trying to have fun. That may sound crazy to some, you know, as far as not really protecting yourself. But um, at that point, in an early age, you're not really worried, I guess, about, you know, getting pregnant. You're just trying to have fun. You know guys are interested in you. So, especially older guys, because who I have my son from, he's older. So, to even grab an attention of a, a older male, you know, at that age, it was intriguing. So... In case you guys didn't catch that YouTube... You just said you had someone that was interested in you that didn't worry about your weight issues. True. So you guys, by him not worrying about your weight issues, you decided to go on and have intercourse sex. Right. Sex that you have in your son. Right. So would you, with that being said, would you say that the weight that you gained or gaining weight at that time was your fault? Um, at the time, I wouldn't necessarily say it was my fault because, you know, in my mind, as any woman who gets pregnant, we have this plan that once I have the baby, I'm going to drop this weight. So at the exactly. time, exactly. I'm like, it, I'm not considering it being my fault, but what it become, it becomes my fault when I, you know, don't lose the weight. So the pregnancy itself, no, but as far as not doing anything afterwards, yes. Okay. So... Now that you are at the age where you still have your weight, do you consider yourself attractive? Yes and no. Yes, in the sense of I think my face is pretty, but anything under that, below that, no, I don't. Wow, wow, wow. And it's a lot of girls that suffer the same thing that do not think that they're pretty at all. Right. So um, when you're getting dressed, when you're going out, because obviously you look really nice. Thank you. And you um, brought your style game. Are you able to, with that outfit, when you got dressed, were you able to look into the mirror and say, I know I look nice. I own this. This is, you know, what I'm wearing. I look good. Can you do that? Um, no. What I can say is I know that outfit looks nice. Now, whether I look good in it, that's a different, that's a different question. Because when I'm getting dressed, I separate myself from the outfit, even if I have the outfit on. So I'm looking at the clothes like that's a nice outfit I put together. But then it almost becomes like the outfit is now destroyed because I got in it. Oh wow, because you're in it. Right. Oh wow. wow. So do you compare yourself to other women? Do you do you look through magazines? Do you go on social media or have you ever compared yourself to other women? I have and still do. Um you know, celebrities, of course, I think all women pretty much can sit, compare themselves to other women. But it's to a point now where you don't even have to be famous for me to compare myself to you. 
if you're smaller than I am, I'm comparing myself to you. So that can just be any random person, whether you're walking down the street, you know, it, it doesn't even matter, it doesn't even matter your status. That's how bad it is. You know, I can see someone, you know, who clearly looks to be, you know, less fortunate, and I'm gonna compare myself to her because she's smaller than I am. Um, would you ever, because judging from what you said, um, it seems like you suffer low self-esteem, am I correct? True. So, has that ever led to any of um, depression, suicidal thoughts, any of that, due to your weight? I wouldn't go as far as to say suicidal thoughts, um, but I am depressed about it almost every day. Every day I wake up, I'm in the mirror trying to pinpoint I could change this, I could change that. Every day, pretty much all day, I'm I'm depressed. Even if it's for five seconds, it seems like my weight is constantly almost always on my mind. Do you ever think that you would ever overcome your low self esteem? Honestly no, because prior to having my son, I suffered from low self esteem. And even when, you know, I look back on my old pictures, I'm like, well, I wasn't really fat, but back then you couldn't tell me that. So now that I've gotten even heavier, oh, now I'm just really obese. So if I wasn't comfortable with my weight prior to having my son, I'm not comfortable now. Truth be told, even if I was to lose weight, it's still a question of would I be comfortable? So with everybody on YouTube watching, what would you say to all of the girls that's watching this video um, between the ages of even young, because you know, when girls are 12 years old and 11 years old, they have hips, they have breasts now, True. They are, they're really curvy. What do you say to anybody that is going through, watching this video, and I mean that they're tuning into this video like this, how we hope, and what would you say to them, what, what advice or what motive would you give to them regarding the same situation you're going through? I don't know if I really have any advice just because I'm still battling it. Um, sorry. I would say, um, I would say just try to find a different outlet. So if you're like, if you're good at you know, re reading, you know, and you want to go to college, focus on your studies. If you're, you know, good at dancing, you know, even I know weight may become a problem with that, but focus on your dancing. Just focus on something where you're not always thinking about your weight. And I think that's what kind of helps me get through the day because, you know, as far as the job I do, I know I'm good at my job because it requires a lot of thinking. I'm an awesome, th awesome thinker, excuse me. I analyze things well. I, I, I can break it down to the T. You know, I overthink sometimes, but sometimes to overthink is still a good thing because I'm constantly using my mind. So I think if, you know, women who suffer from weight gain, they will just try to find a different outlet to put their energy into. You can find yourself, you know, not to say you'll stop thinking about your weight completely, but you'll give yourself breaks throughout the day where you're not focused on your weight as much. And that is a very good point. That is a very good point. And I hope that everybody that's watching can take what you just said, that memo that you just said, and really, really, really get the key points in. And as CWM, because it's all about being comfortable with who you are, I can tell you that by you saying that you're smart, that, that shows that you're comfortable. The weight that you are, the question we ask, so is she fat or is she beautiful? I think that you're beautiful in your own skin. And the fact that you are smart and therefore your son shows that you are comfortable. So please continue to be comfortable in your own skin. Please continue to, you know, go to school, do what drives you, do what makes you, and most of all, be there for your son. I am so thankful that you were able to share your story on Thank the CWN show me. today. Um, let everybody know out there in the social media world how they can get in contact with you. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter, Instagram? What, what are you I am on Facebook. You can reach me at Whitney Williams on Facebook, on Twitter. 
I go by Asanta, Asanta excuse me, song, and that's A-S-S-A-T-A underscore song. And you guys can reach out to me as well. Like I said, it's all about being comfortable. I speak the truth and keep it rolling. Hence the truth on wheels. Facebook slash the truth on wheels. Instagram, the truth on wheels. And thank you for tuning in. Continue to subscribe to the channel. And once again, it's all about being comfortable. Wave back to bye. Bye.